Welcome back to Prominence Minecraft. Right now there's a raid going on. So let me go ahead and kill these guys. Okay. So let me go ahead and kill these guys. Shouldn't be too hard. Here we go. And last one. Boom. All right, let's beat this wave. Come here. There's like no villagers here. So where are you guys going? This crossbow is amazing. Oh my goodness. Where's the last guy? Oh, there he is. If you guys remember from last episode, I couldn't get my crossbow or anything back. And there's a hidden texture right here where you click on it and it shows like your weapons. You can place all your weapons and stuff in this. And then there's a button up here. It's invisible because of a texture. You have to click on that and then you can just get your stuff from here. I know plenty of people had an issue with that, so I hope I help you guys. Seems like a normal villager raid. Oh, come here, big guy. we go i'm gonna go ahead and sleep first and now let's go fight these pillagers once again oh wow i don't know what that guy does there's a bunch of witches too okay i don't want those witches getting close to me i can't see a thing i'm just shooting right now okay i'm getting kind of nervous i actually can't see a thing does this guy just give me regen what i'm so confused okay i gotta kill this guy he just dropped me a totem of freezing i'm not too sure what that does let's kill this guy and I think that's the last one. Oh, I also got a totem of illusion. I don't know what that does. You know, what? I'm just going to keep it here for now until I figured that out. For now, let's fight these pillagers. Oh my goodness, there is a lot here. I don't even have my good armor on. I don't think I need it though. Oh goodness, there's a lot going on right now. Right, let's get rid of this guy again. Let me use my sword. There we go. Oh, that was the last. Well, there's that. Today I'm going to be fighting the Nether Gauntlet, and I need to turn these bookshelves into hell shelves. It gives me more Eterna, which is used to make like more powerful enchantments, I'm pretty sure, and stuff like that. I'm still not too sure what Quanta and all the extra stuff does, like Arcana, but I do know the hell shelves are way better. So I'm gonna have to get into that. And I need to kill some ghast and all that other stuff. And I do want to get some netherite, so I need to craft a bunch of TNT, but I don't have much gunpowder, so I'm gonna need to craft some it's actually fairly simple we just need charcoal sulfur and salt pepper so if i go here i can just place this right here and this but i don't have enough soul stand or soul soil whatever and to make dust you need to crush it inside of a crusher or a grinder my bad so this might take some time to do also guys i have made a discord server if you guys like to join and just chat or ask me questions or just whatever i'll leave it down in the comments and the description don't be afraid to say hi if you guys like to play or just chat we could I don't really mind. But yeah, make sure to join it. Let's put these in here. And now we're slowly making the saltpeter. I already put some charcoal in here. So let me just take this out and put it in the grinder. Here we go. Now we got some charcoal dust. All right, there we go. We got some saltpeter dust in here and some extra stuff. All right, we got the charcoal and saltpeter. All we need is sulfur dust to make it into gunpowder. I do need to make this process a little bit more faster because it is quite slow. To make this faster, I do need to make machine upgrades. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be needing these. It will decrease the crafting time. So let me go ahead and work on this now we can make the overclocker upgrade and we just place it in here and it should be faster and now it should be faster it looks like there's no energy going through properly so i'm gonna need to upgrade my energy okay this is just a basic solar panel it's not really gonna do much for all these machines in my house so let's go ahead and upgrade it okay we can make an advanced solar panel now we need an industrial one it doesn't look too complicated as well we just need some diamond dust i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now actually let me just get rid of this machine for now and this one and it should only be going through here barely going up i'm gonna place a solar panel right back just in case yep it's doing its job all right there we go let's pick this back up now we craft this and now we can craft this and there's an ultimate solar panel then there's a quantum solar panel which is the last one but that would take like five years to make so i'm gonna go ahead and make myself the ultimate solar panel we don't really need too much for it right there's a reinforced glass i just need some more diamond dust and more advanced circuits and then i should be good okay i officially crafted everything and now i have the ultimate solar panel go ahead and place this right here and there we go. All right, looks like everything is charging up perfectly. Also do want to make a muffler because this machine noise is quite noisy. All right, let's go ahead and make that. Plop that in here. Yep, it silenced it. I don't think it's too bothering right now, so it's whatever. But for now, I do want to fight the Nether Gauntlet boss because I'm pretty sure I could take that on right now. And then right after that, I'm going to upgrade these bookshelves into a hell shelf just so I could get some better enchantments. Then get some gunpowder for netherite farming. I have a protection three book and unbreaking book. Not too sure if I want to use on these boots. I'll just place the bookshelves back for now. 
We could add Fetter Falling, so I'm going to do exactly that. I'll be fine without the Unbreaking and Protection for now. For now, let's go ahead and fight the Nether Gauntlet. Okay, I've... Oh, okay, I've made it to the Nether Gauntlet structure. Now, all we do is activate this. Pretty sure I have to break it, right? Oh, yep. Here we go. And we just shoot it. Just like that. Oh, goodness. Yep. We have to shoot it in the eye. He keeps punching me. It's pretty hard to dodge him, not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm gonna need an apple. Come on, open up. There we go. Yeah, I don't have a... I don't have a chance to dodge. Come on. He's way too fast. Alright, there we go. Oh, and he has a beam. He has a beam. Let's run from it. Can't really go in third person. Oh, goodness. He's not dealing too much damage, so... We're chilling. Oh, I think he's mad. Oh, goodness. Okay. He's definitely mad. What is he doing? Oh, I'm blind. I can't see. I could look on my map, though. Okay, there we go. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. Okay. Gotta watch out for that. He's almost dead, so that's good. I think he's making me blind again. Yep. I can still see him, though. Come on. He's almost there. Come on. Here we go. One more. Let's go. Wait, should I get away? Oh, okay. Oh, Ancient Debris. Nice. I think that was the only one. Oh, no. There's one right here. And there's one right here as well. Let's open this chest. We got the Blazing Eye. It's used for the Table of Elevation and the Blast Amplifier. So this would actually be really useful for uh, Netherite farming. But for now, I am going to craft the Table of Elevation for my house. Because to get the Obsidian Heart, we have to go to the end. And that's going to take like five years anyway. And we could always fight more Nether Gauntlets. But anyways, that was a pretty good boss fight. I'm going to go ahead and craft the Table of Elevation right now. There we go. And if we place this here, we could just fly. Yep. Uh... Let me place this outside, actually. We place it here. I can fly in this area. The radius isn't too large. Oh, goodness. Okay. Yep. But yeah, it's going to be really useful for uh, something. I don't know. I'll just place it here for now. I could use the grinder to make two netherite scraps instead of one. So I might as well do that right now, actually. All right, here we go. I got 11 scraps. And if I use the alloy smelter, I could turn 10 gold and 10 scraps into three netherite ingots. Which is, I'm pretty sure, one more netherite ingot than you should normally get for that much. But I'm pretty sure it's better anyways. So let's go ahead and make an alloy smelter. All right, I just got done making the alloy smelter. There we go place this here and that and yep it's powering up let's place this netherite scrap in here and now it's working perfect all right we got three netherites we only need one more i shouldn't have used that netherite last episode for this i'm not gonna upgrade my armor at the moment only until i get enough netherite to actually like sustain myself i do want to start making the hell shelves just so i can upgrade the enchantments on my enchantment table because if we make a hell shelf we can turn that into this and turn this into any of these which will upgrade enchantments even more and blah 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 it's time to go blaze and gas farming I found a bastion, and it has a bunch of gold around it. I'm not really too worried about the gold. Alright, guys. Don't you guys remember what happened last time? You're not dealing no damage to me. What's in here? Steel. Nothing much. Pick step. Ooh, netherite. Okay, wither helmet. Hopefully there's more to this place. I don't want them to hit me too much. I can't let them break my armor. More ancient debris. Advanced circuit, magma cream. I think that's pretty much it to this place. Okay, I guess not. Let's jump down. Oh, no. Okay, thank goodness I have Fetter Falling. Oh my goodness, I'm getting jumped by everything. Come on. Alright, we're good. Ah. Uh, I'm just here to rob y'all. I'm not here to fight. Just let me rob. Oh my goodness, okay. This is bad. Oh goodness, I didn't realize I'm inside of a temple. Okay, let's make sure to get rid of the trap. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. Oh, goodness. oh no, I should not have angered those piglins. 
Oh, goodness. Alright, I might as well just get rid of all of you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm looking around for some chests, but it doesn't look like there's much here. Oh, I found a chest, finally. What's in here? Advanced machine frames. Crying obsidian. More ancient debris. Okay, not bad. Okay, I see another chest over there. And it has... Oh, okay. A royal longbow, again. And a frost claymore. I'm gonna need to look into this magic mod a little bit more. Alright, I'm getting out of here. I need some blaze rods and some gas tears. Oh my... Oh my goodness, that's a mutant enderman. Let me see if I can fight it. Come here, buddy. Oh my. Yup. It's carrying some blocks. What are you gonna do with those? Buddy, you're doing nothing to me. Did I shoot him? I think I could. Oh, I'm blind. Oh, okay. And you're dead. Oh. Should I get away? Oh, no. I don't know if I should be around here. What is going on? I'm flying. Okay, let me get rid of this guy. He dropped a bunch of eyes of ender and some ender pearls. Okay, that mutant should have dropped the ender soul hand, which is used to pick up blocks and just uh, throw them, I guess. But I can't find it anywhere. I brought some malaise with me and I found another mutant enderman. Oh my goodness, I did not mean to stare at you. Okay. I don't know what I'm hitting right now. It's really dark. I hope I don't kill my LAs. Come on. Oh! That did a lot of damage. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I'm dizzy. I killed it. Let me get away. Let me get away. This time. Oh! Or not. Or not. Or not. Or not. Or not. Um... Okay, nice. Okay, I've grinded some gas tears and some blaze rods and just a whole bunch of other stuff. I recently updated my game and they made like enemies and stuff more harder. So let me go ahead and fight this nether gauntlet again. Oh goodness, I'm lagging. Okay, let me make sure I'm good. Alright, let's go. So basically they made the game more challenging, which is really nice actually, because it was kind of like not too too hard to get through these bosses at least. I mean, still isn't because I have, like, really good armor. But overall, they have made, like, all the mobs more balanced, like zombies and stuff. And they also removed the Dark Enchanter, which is kind of triggering. But I kind of understand because it is kind of unbalanced just to get any enchantment you want just like that. Like, look, it's taking way longer to beat this Nether Gauntlet. Like, my crossbow's not even doing damage anymore. Yeah, this is definitely gonna take a while. Yeah, my sword is doing very little damage to this guy. I'm sure the Night Lich is way harder as well, but we'll save that for another time. Yeah, my armor is breaking a lot. Yeah, I'm dealing- oh my goodness, I'm only dealing like 3 damage. At least 10 at most. Yeah, I'm dealing 2 damage, oh my goodness. They've definitely balanced out these bosses. And I'm actually really liking it, because every boss shouldn't be like run through. Just like fight them and then you just kill them eventually. Like you actually have to uh, try on these guys. I don't think I'm able to completely fight him without my armor breaking, so I'm just gonna leave here for now. Let me get out of here. Leave me alone. Okay, I'm out. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to that later. Let me go ahead and farm some more gas tears. Okay, I just made it back home and I got pretty much everything I need. So let's go ahead and craft these hell shelves. First, I need potions of regeneration. So let's go ahead and make some awkward potions. There we go. We need 12 of these, so let's just put as much as we can. So we're going to be needing 12 potions of regeneration for 12 health shelves. And eventually after we make that, we could turn these into infused health shelves. Maybe not right now though, but eventually we will get there. Alright, we got enough awkward potions. Now we just place these here, gassed here, and now we got some regeneration potions. I also need some nether bricks, so let me go ahead and make some of those. Alright, we have to smelt this in here. Okay, I got enough regeneration potions. Now I just need nether bricks and that should be good. Now let's craft as much of these as we could. I'm definitely gonna need to upgrade my furnaces soon as well. Okay, I got just enough, nice. Now all we do is place these here. Oh, I do not have enough. But if you look here, it goes up to 36, which is actually pretty crazy. Just for this much. Okay, I made myself two more health shelves. There we go. And it goes up to 42. And I'm pretty sure it could go up more as well if we place some right here. Thing is that I have no more netherrack. Okay, now this should be enough. Okay, this should be enough. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see, 45. Okay. 
That's the max I could go, I'm assuming. I also updated my game again, and now this time my armor duplicated, but my good armor disappeared, which is kind of weird. It's not even in this chest or anything, but it's all good. I'll just make some new armor, and I can always go back to my zombie farm to grind XP. Yep, look at these enchantments. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely going to need a better source of XP, and to get extra XP, we could craft. So I'm looking at this right now. It's called the Potion of Ancient Knowledge. It drops extra experience gained from kills and blocks. It looks like I'm gonna need bottles of enchantment though. I only have one currently. All right, let's go ahead and make this right now. All right, there we go. We could also upgrade these and make them last longer. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. We could also turn this into a charm, but I'm not too sure if it works since it's invalid. I don't really want to risk that. So I'm just going to drink these potions normally. All right, I will be back once I get enough XP. Okay, I just got done grinding some zombies and I got 50 levels. I was using a diamond sword with knowledge of the ages one, which directly converts enemy drops into XP. But I took the enchantment off just to enchant something else because it's kind of expensive to repair every time but anyways let's see what we could do here protection five who deserves snowball let's go with this Okay, that's really nice. Let's do the leggings next. Blast protection, protection. I think blast protection is going to be really good as well. For the boots, we have potion barrier. I have no idea what that is. A seated helmet, fire protection, recycler. Mm, these enchantments aren't like too good. It's sad that you can't even um refresh enchantments anymore. It's kind of sad. I don't even have like much diamonds anymore as well. So I'm probably going to have to grind some later on. Anyways, it looks like this is what we could do for now. Actually, let's go ahead to our quest and claim these. I got some netherite ingots and some gilded netherite fragments. I have no idea what these do. Upgrade material for netherite armor. Okay, that's really nice. I do need some gunpowder for TNT for netherite farming and some more diamonds and more XP for uh, my armor and such. I just realized I have 54 levels because of my quest. Let's see what I could do here. Mm, this isn't really the best and so isn't the boots. I do need to get netherite soon so I can upgrade my diamond armor and then I can upgrade this netherite armor into like even better netherite armor. It eventually goes up and up. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna get all the extra stuff that I need for my armor. Okay, I'm officially back. I got all the enchantment books I need for my armor. I'm gonna need to reforge this armor as well with this amethyst and diamonds. I got all the stuff I need for gunpowder to turn into TNT. First, let's go ahead and turn this all into gunpowder. So if we go here, we can just go right here. And there we go. We got a bunch of gunpowder. Now we just turn this into TNT. All right, there we go. That's all I could do for now. It's not really much, but hopefully we find some netherite with this much. But anyways, let's go ahead and upgrade our armor real quick. First, I do want to reforge it. I already made legendary boots. Let's go ahead and do the leggings. Common, common. Okay, this should be good. Okay, epic. That's nice. And the epic helmet. Okay. Kind of wish I got all legendaries, but I don't really want to waste too many diamonds. All right, now let's enchant this armor. All right. That's the chest plate. There's the boots. I mean, leggings. There's the legs. I mean, the boots. I don't know how I got that mixed up. We got the helmet. I'm going to add on breaking to this as well. Now I just need to add to some breaking book onto these leggings, but I do not have enough XP. So I'll be right back. All right, I should have enough. Let's go ahead and add on breaking. And I think we could get legendary on this armor. So I might as well try. Uh, I'm not getting what I need. Oh, I'm about to give up. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, legendary chest play as well. Thank you very much. Now for the helmet, I only have 16 diamonds left. Uh, okay, screw it. Come on, please. At least give me a decent enchant and I'll stop there. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah, I can't risk it. I'm chilling on armor for now. Before I use any netherite on this armor, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my... Oh, not this pickaxe. I'm going to put it on this pickaxe, if I could. Oh, I'm going to need an upgrade. Okay. I have some in here, actually. So let's go ahead and add these, I'm guessing. Oh, there we go. Oh, not this pickaxe. I almost made a mistake. There we go. Before I go, let me give some context on what I've done. So I made this Lapis Traveler's Backpack, which increases my XP per kill. It's really useful and pretty cheap to make. I made the Solid Infuser, so you turn Rotten Flesh into Untanned Letter, and then you can smelt this letter and it turns into normal letter. The pulverizer, I completely forgot what that does, but I crafted that. Alloy smelter for something for the gunpowder, I'm assuming. 
compressor for plates. You already know about the other stuff. I also did a lot of mining and got some extra resources and made a ton of enchantment books trying to find unbreaking. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go fight the warden. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is not the warden's place. I've been scammed. What's in here though? Okay. Diamond stuff. Amethyst. Nothing really special. It's literally just... Okay, whoever developed this place definitely did not try on the generation. Wither roses, okay. There's a bunch of these here, actually. I don't want to waste my durability on those guys. Just a double chest right here, diamond, and boots with curse of vanishing. Nothing special in here. Well, I'm gonna get out of here for now because this is not what I was looking for. Okay, I have made it to the deep dark, but not necessarily the right place i should say i don't think it really matters if i stomp i don't think there's any sensors here okay i genuinely can't find a warden place anywhere like i've searched this entire map there's absolutely no deep dark anywhere i've been using my nature's compass as well and i might as well just save this for another time but to make it up to you guys i'm gonna fight the wither let's get the three wither skulls got some soul sand right here now let's go fight the wither very very far away from this home Okay, this should be a good area for the Wither. Let's go ahead and place the skulls right here, here, and boom. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me run. Let me run. Let me take a let me take a screenshot of you. Alright, for the thumbnail. Okay, let's go. Mm, I can't really tell how much damage he's taking. Okay, he's actually taking plenty of damage. It's going good, it's going good. I don't think my armor is breaking, no. Gotta keep shooting. Should I swing at him? Come on. Okay, I hit him once. Come on, let me use my ability on you. Alright, looks like I can't reach him. I might as well drink this strength potion just to make this a little bit more faster. I can always make more. Oh my goodness, okay. Yep, I'm hitting him really hard. Yep, not a big deal. Let me see if I can get a nice thumbnail. Okay. Come on, Wither. Just die. There's nothing you can do. Oh my gosh, he's just digging grave for me. Okay, I'm doing good damage. Hey, he's my ability? I guess not. Oh my goodness. Let's go, I got him. I didn't even realize because I was getting a thumbnail. He dropped a bunch of stuff for me. Two Wither Eyes, which is what we need for the Ender Dragon. A Nether Star, a Lord Star, and a Shard of Uncertainty. Seems to be perfectly fit in a certain pedestal. So I'm guessing this is for a boss. The Lord Soul, this is used for a bunch of stuff actually. This is one specific weapon I really want to get. So I'm pretty sure you could throw it and you could like fly with it as well. I could use the Nether Star to upgrade my Waking Lich Blade into a awakened lich blade after attacking enemies my souls will return to me and grant me absorption it would make more sense if i shown you guys but that's the best i could really explain it so let's go ahead and turn this into a awakened oh it looks like it can't maybe it's because of my gem sockets i don't know about my enchantments that's kind of weird well it's all right because let's go ahead and make the comet spear so if we hold this in our left hand and hold right click we can fly let's go and then we just smash to the ground. There's a pretty large cooldown on it though, which is pretty fair. It's also used for attacking, but who in the world's using this for attacking? I'm gonna leave off the netherite farming for next episode. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.